like to mix it up with some famous bottles and then some not so famous bottles. So here's another small business that we're going to learn about today. My initial internet search turned up nothing. Just a few people selling a bottle here and there. No newspapers. Well great, let's see if we can crack this case. I'm going to write this out as I go, so you'll figure everything out at the same time that I do. On this episode of Antique Bottle Stories. This bottle says McDonough and Company. First in Henderson, JC. Well, one search that I did did tell me that JC stands for Jersey City. Okay, so I don't have a first name. I searched the newspapers for McDonough and Company, but that didn't get me very far. My next thought is let's go to the city directories. I'm going to estimate 1880 first. Here are all the McDonough's. Okay, there's three McDonough's that deal with beverages. John does soda water, Michael's in liquors, and so is Patrick. This bottle could hold any of those things, but there's only one of those that mentions Henderson Street. So John, come on down. You're the next contestant on The Price is Right. So we have a first name. Also, notice it says Knight and McDonough. Our bottle says McDonough and Company. So something changed. So what I'll do is I'll skip five years in both directions in the directories to see if they're still in business. So we're at 1875. There he is, Knight and McCullough on Henderson. Go back five more, 1870. There's three Johns, a driver, a tailor, and a mason, but not the one we're looking for. Okay, so let's go back. I went through each year in between and found his first year in business is 1874. So with Knight's name being first, it makes me think that Knight is the head honcho. They are partners, but Knight is the bigger partner. So let's now go the other way and see if we can find the transition when it becomes McDonough's company. So since we started in 1880, let's jump to 1885. Here he is, and the company is now named McDonough and Company, Mineral Waters, 362 Henderson. Okay, so sometime between 1880 and 1885, the name changed. So let me go narrow it down. Okay, in 1883, it's Knight and McKenna, and in 1884, it's McDonough and Company. And in the 1885 listing, it lists his new partner as Frank McNamee. Since McDonough is listed first, he's the head honcho now. Now, since my bottle says McDonough and Company, we just found out that the earliest year it was made is 1884. So let's see how long they were in business. And like I said, I usually skip five years until I don't see them anymore. Well, that didn't take long. In 1890, I don't see them. So I backtracked. 1888, I don't see them. 1887, I don't see them. 1886, what? They were only in business for one year? There's a few Johns listed, but I'm not sure if any of them are our John. So what happened? I mean, maybe John died. While I'm in this 1886 directory right now, let me go see what McNamee is doing. Aha, what do you know? McNamee and McHugh, I guess they only liked hanging out with people with names that started with Mick. Anyways, it says successors to J. McDonough and Company, Mineral Waters on Henderson. Now I'm interested what this corner looks like, so let's go see. Well, it's not named Henderson anymore, but Google sits me in front of this building. There's another old building right next door too. But the bottle says first in Henderson, so it's on a corner, and this isn't a corner. The corner is down there. Anyway, I don't know, let's just move on. So now I wanna know two things. I want to know if John died, and I want to know how long this business stayed in business. Now, Ancestry did list more than one John McDonough, but this John died at the end of 1885 at 45 years old, and he was from Ireland. So now I'm going to go check the city directories. 1888, 1889, check. In 1889, they actually have a nice little ad there. In 1890, they're gone. I checked if the other dude took it over, but nope, I think that's it. I suppose there's really no point in looking into it too much more. This bottle is a blown bottle. It probably had a lightning closure. And like the beverage bottles of this era, it's heavy. And now we know that it could have only been produced between 1884 and 1885. Now John was in the soda business about 10 years before this, but the bottles that say McDonough and Company were only 1884 and 1885. So this sucker's gotta be pretty rare. 
And a special thanks to my special guest, Felix, who tries to get into my pictures every single week, and this time I finally caved and let him get in one. <laughs> well, we kicked this one out in one night, so thanks for your help, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.